On this week's episode of Wide Eyed Adventures, we go searching for some wind, ditch the clothes for a little cool off underway, and head to Toronto Island to meet up with our longtime friend Matt and take in the nightlife. Good morning. <laughs> well, we just left Coburg, uh, where we stayed for a few days. It's a very cute little town. We did some provisioning for two days. I met some new friends, which was awesome. We met the coolest couple, Dan and Sandy Purpleman, with a relatively new Beneteau Ocean S41-1, and we're kind of instant friends. So, you know, Beneteau owners group. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so we did some provisioning, we had some amazing food, great dinner with great friends, and now we are heading to Brown Lake, Ontario. Yeah. The winds are light, so unfortunately we have to motor sail right now. We're ambitious, we're motor sailing from Coburg to Toronto, about 59 nautical miles in light, light winds. Most people would run into Whitby, but we don't, we're not absolutely certain of our draft, so, and Whitby six feet plus minus, so we're not going to risk it, we're going to go right to Toronto Island, which is a longer run. Hence the motor sailing with the light winds. We need to maintain five and a half, six knots to get there before sunset. Yeah. But it's a beautiful day. The sun's out right now. Winds are from the north, so they're off the beam, which is really nice. We're not pounding into a squall right now. There's virtually no wave, and it's gorgeous. And we both have fresh coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. The benefits of an inverter. We can leave the dock and then make coffee. <laughs> Cheers. It was a great start to the day with one hour of perfect sailing conditions and then nothing. We lost the wind. With the hot sun burning down and no wind to cool off or for travel, we decided to bear all and dive in for a little cool down. Captain's log update, 133. Captain's log, stardate 1313.8. Sherry found us some wind. We are sailing six and a half, seven knots in six and a half to eight knots of wind. About 60 degrees and uh, no motor, no motor. Oh, it's so nice to have wind. Yeah, so some motoring, some sailing. Almost a perfect day, but the speed of this boat, that's really impressive. And just to add to that, check this out. This is Sherry's first time completely by herself trimming the sails and trimming them absolutely perfectly. Like, this is only, look at that. This is like her third day sailing. She's already trimmed the sails perfectly. Enough so that we're running 6.2, 6.4, 6.3, 6.3 seven knots. Wow. Awesome. Let's top it off. Boobs are out. <laughs> Sunshine got down. <laughs> but I mean, is there any better way to sail than with the top out? It wasn't long before we saw the beautiful city skyline of Toronto coming into view.
The Toronto Harbour can get quite busy, so John and I were both on high alert as we made our way through. Right across from the city is Toronto Island and the Toronto Island Marina Yacht Club, our home for the evening. It's always a little nerve-wracking the first time you pull into a new location, and even more so when you're on a new boat. But John did a stellar job docking us safely. With our friend Matt joining us soon, we wasted no time in checking in and exploring a bit of the island. The beaches were beautiful, and the tulip flower self-folding chairs were super cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then what happens when you get up? It, it pulls itself back up. Yeah, it's cool. It's so cool. If you want to check out the island but don't own a boat, you can always catch one of the many ferries traveling back and forth daily from Toronto. No, the Tiki Taxi looks wicked. Look at him go. Tiki Taxi. A Gerber aboard. We think he's on this ferry. I hope he's on this one. Is this the uh, Marina ferry? Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> Ohio goes I must. How are you? Oh God, so nice to see yes. you. Welcome back. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Oh, Sorry, you're on YouTube Coming now. You right. Oh. She's a little dirty still. Welcome. She's been transiting. She's been transiting. Yes. <laughs> it's a little big, eh? <laughs> no, that's amazing. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, my friends is a yacht. After some food in our bellies and a few socials, it was time to check out the nightlife at the Upper Deck Bar. Gotta love karaoke night. And there's what's up. He said, leave this man alone. He said, tell him right away. And I was back to the bar. And the patio had the best view. The next morning, we were up bright and early to start our 44 nautical mile sail to Port Dalhousie. The weather and sailing was perfect. We made such great time that after we docked, we had enough time to polish a bit of the boat before family arrived. That evening, we enjoyed a wonderful visit from Aunt Amy and Cousin Mitchell. A big thank you to Aunt Amy again for being instrumental in helping us find our dream home. I just gotta say a big shout out to uh, the folks at SV Delos, Sailing the Vagabond, Sailing Vessel Uma, uh, Sailing Kadoa, and many more. Um, you guys really did inspire us, so thank you for that. And uh, what do I say? You know, we don't really know what we're doing. We're kind of, we're boaters, we've had lots of power boats, but we're not sailors yet. And uh, I would say, if you're thinking about it, do it. 
don't worry about how big the boat is. Just start sailing. It really does change your life. It's nothing more peaceful. In fact, I've had more time to think about things now than I had in about 20 years because you've just got this time. Sailing is slow and that's purposeful. So thank you everyone. We're gonna try and join you in the Caribbean in 2023. Cheers.